Hello everyone, this is Ashish. Welcome back to Talk 4712. Today we are going to talk about three important essential secrets that toppers don't really tell you. Now, if you ask me, I've been an average student for most of my life until I got into college and decided to do something with my career. And then I decided to do my best and I studied very hard and reached pretty good level when it comes to academics. I was bronze medalist when I graduated in mechanical engineering. After that, subsequently, I continued on studying, making mechanical engineering my career, got selected into Baba Atomic Research Center and All India Rank 4 in Indian Space Research Organization in years subsequent to that. So the thing is that I've seen when I was a 60% student, 50% student, if you do not know, 12th board, I got 53 marks in mathematics, 61 in physics, and uh, aggregate percentage of 65% when it comes to physics, chemistry, and maths. My overall percentage when you combine English and computer science and physical education and all that was 75%, which most of you guys will be able to understand is just average. Now, when I got into college, it was not all easy that, okay, I'll start studying 16 hours every day and I'll become topper all of a sudden. Matter of fact, I found a very shocking truth that even though you study the most, it is not always that you get the best marks. And that made me realize that hard work is absolutely necessary, but it is not sufficient. You have to work smart as well. And these are the things that the toppers incorporate all the time and if you want to become a topper eventually you'll have to use it as well now i'm just going to reveal all the secrets right in front of you because that's the way it is all fair but it will require your hard working and you sticking to these things as well now in the defense of the toppers they have not told you about these things not because they want to keep it a secret and they know that once you know this you are going to become better than them now most of the toppers have always been toppers if you see their history their toppers in their classes in their school days and toppers in 10th toppers in 12th toppers in their competitive examination then topper in college and then got the best job that is generally what happens and because of that being 20 years straight up topper they don't even realize what they are doing differently and it is kind of like in their subconscious they are doing it by reflex but if you change from an average mediocre or a bottomer student to a topper then you understand what are the things that you need to learn so i'm going to discuss that one by one let us begin by the end of it i'm also going to discuss three essential things that even the toppers don't know and only a person who has turned from an average student to a topper understands so if you happen to be a topper there just might be something for you as well and you just might understand what you are doing differently so that you can do more of that now let us begin the first one have you ever studied like more than a topper and found out that topper still outperforms you or you'll see a topper studying only for two hours and doing more work output than you can do in just in like four or five hours that happens a lot and you'll see a lot of brilliant students studying much lesser but getting a lot more output what is it all about it is about the efficiency. The toppers are more efficient when they sit down and study. That means, in simpler words, they are having higher concentration. And when they are studying, they are only studying and they grasp information very fast. And then they are done with the study and they go out and they have some cool stuff done. And then everyone is saying that, oh, he's a genius or she's a genius. That person can literally do everything and get very good marks as well. But ultimately, it comes down to efficiency. And efficiency is because of three different reasons. Number one, experience. Like I said, a lot of toppers have been studying a lot for a long time. So they are having experience or in a simpler word, you can say that their mind is trained in a better manner to accept information faster. For example, any part of your body, you train it, it will become better at it. Let us say weightlifting. I'm going to lift weights every day. It is going to become better at lifting weight. So in that sense, the brain is also a muscle and the brains of the toppers are trained to grasp information quickly and efficiently for a long time. So it is tuned like that. So it is something that they have, but it is not like you need 10 years to, to reach your brain to that level so that you become better at grasping information as well. I'm going to tell you what you can do. The second thing is calmness. And that is toppers are mostly calm when they're studying because of the third reason that is confidence. Okay, calmness has one more thing to do but toppers have differently, which I'm going to discuss in the second secret that toppers have. But the third one, that is the confidence. Confidence is coming from the experience that they are having, their past victories, they have been topper, they know they can do it. And that is something that can also be dealt with. And I'm going to be discussing that 
in the third point all right so it will be broken down down one by one so that you understand it properly all right like i said i'm not only going to mention what makes stoppers better but i'm also going to tell you what you can do even if you're an average or a bottomer student so that you can become a topper so the second point is connected to hobbies have you ever noticed this every topper has a hobby or something else to do other than studies and i can say that for almost everyone that you meet who is a topper for you it might be almost everyone for me it is 100% every topper that i have met so far has some or the other hobby that is completely separated from the academics now how does that help you it helps you to have that calm mind because it is going to refresh your mind whenever you are going to indulge your time into pursuing that hobby for let us say 1 hour it is going to refresh reset it is going to be a clean slate after that you get back to study and you look at the whatever you are studying with an open in mind and you are going to grasp information in a better manner like that now that is the problem with most of the people who just started their pursuit of becoming a topper they think that i have to eliminate everything and whatever hobbies they are having they are just going to eliminate that and they are just going to focus every time they have in study that actually makes their brain duller that creates a lot of frustration and they see a downward spiral and it is all going to bad show so do not completely eliminate your hobbies give it time because it is actually going to help you everything is necessary over here if you ask me ashish what was your hobby my hobby was always martial arts i was pursuing it throughout my journey through the college throughout my pursuit of uh, cracking barc or cracking isro and still right now also i'm doing that that resets my mind that is completely separated from academics and that is completely separated for everything i'm doing right now like making videos over here or running personality development courses it is completely separated so it is going to reset my mind clean it up and then i'm going to look at the task in my hand with an open mind and i'm going to do a better job third and the final secrets that toppers are hiding or they are just not able to figure out and let you know they don't really study that much what toppers you think they are geeks and nerds they study all day right not really if you really look at it at the big picture at least the toppers who are toppers till their graduate level they don't really study that much there's no topper who is studying 16 hours every day if you look at it properly and that is why when i made that video on full day routine i only asked you guys to study 10 hours because efficiency is much more important quality is much more important than quantity and that's what the toppers are focusing in they fo- are focusing towards quality output and if you study properly like use pomodoro techniques and there are different things that i've talked about if you use those smart techniques and that is why i've said in the beginning of this video also that you need to work hard yes that is necessary but also you need to work smart and you have to understand that brain is working like a machine and any machine no matter what it is if you keep on working on it or using it continuously it is going to overheat and its efficiency is going to drop and like that you can use techniques like cheat days pomodoro techniques how you can keep it all efficient and working it for a longer period of time with higher efficiency and ultimately efficiency is directly proportional to work output and if you are more efficient you are going to produce more work output and perhaps in lower amount of time so toppers don't really study a lot they study a lot compared to people who don't study at all like a lot of people who are at bottom or average student they study like 1 hour 2 hour barely and that too before examinations but toppers do study continuously for like 8 hours 10 hours and that is what is making them toppers but then when you think that okay i need to become a topper now then you all of a sudden think that i'm going to study as much as i can and that actually degrades your performance and then a lot of people will quit because they think that it is not going to work and toppers are gifted they are talented that is why some people are made to be toppers it is not true at all but there is a method that if you follow then definitely this is going to work now connected to the last point that toppers don't really study much now i'm going to talk about what are the things that toppers are making mistakes at and these are the things that can be only figured out by a person who was bottomer or an average student and became a topper because along the way that person figured out a lot of things now, toppers don't study a lot and that is a problem and that is connected to the first point of how you can get confidence do you remember that you need confidence and toppers automatically has confidence because they are having prior victories you don't have much but how can you use that 
Working hard does give you a lot of confidence and that is something that toppers are not that much used to doing because they have been averagely working like 8 to 10 hours every day. But if you can really push yourself harder, then that gives you an extra edge, an extra edge when it comes to confidence. And that is something that toppers are not acquainted to. So if you want to beat a topper, then you have to work harder than that person that gives you an extra edge when it comes to confidence now again obviously keeping in mind that i'm not going to wreck my engine i'm going to work in the most efficient manner possible giving myself proper rest pursuing my hobby side by side to give myself refreshment and then work the hardest 10 to 12 hours it is very very possible if you can do that then that definitely gives you a mental edge now confidence some confidence there are basically two types of confidence one that comes from success that let us say you don't really have the second type of confidence comes from inducing it to yourself so you have to believe that you can do it just remember that Ashish Ranjan told you that anyone can become a topper and it does not really have any connection to the talent or what you were born with if you work properly and honestly you don't really need to work like 10 years like the other toppers have done to get to that level in just one to two years you are going to start seeing the difference and maybe as soon as six months or seven months in fact i'm going to talk about a little bit of story over here first semester that it was divided into two sessionals so in first sessional even though i worked very hard i was not actually seeing the result i was still an average student but i kept on working kept on working the same method of working hard and over time i found out various ways to work smart as well and it started to show in the second sessional that was four months after i started actually working very hard so it takes time you are going to start seeing results in four months or six months but do not give up and pursue that because i think there's not much secret actually you'll have to work hard but also this is something that most people don't tell you that you'll have to work smart as well those are the techniques i've already talked about pomodoro technique how you can plan to-do lists cheat days these are the things that you should definitely follow obviously i cannot talk about all of these things in this single video because it is again going to be a 50 minutes video otherwise now what topper needs to know the first i've already discussed that those toppers are not really working that hard they are not having the capability of pushing extra hard like okay they have been studying for 10 hours every day for last 10 days sorry last 10 years they are not able to push like 16 hours all of a sudden if they need to the second thing is that they are having a big fear of failure because they have not failed much that is the problem with toppers that they have won too much that they are too afraid of failures and that is something that is a boon or a gift for those people who are bottomers because all they have seen is failures and failures and bad days and people not thinking about them much and so you have to be very acquainted to failures to do anything good in life because that is a very necessary learning tool the third one is also very important that toppers are not able to take risks and thus they become a person who takes a lot of orders and they are told to do this because that is what they have been to doing so far so toppers will be waiting for orders okay what do i have to do next and they are not able to take their own steps and they are not able to take risks and those are also few of the tools which are extremely important for you to build a very good life in a long term after you're done with academics let us say you are done with your 12th standard b tech m tech phd everything now you have to start your own life and you have to take your own actions you will have to take risks if you have to make it big obviously obviously calculated risks but those are topic of discussion of some other day that's about it guys i hope you learned a lot use those secrets and i can only tell that because i'm experienced in that field i failed a lot and i do not want you guys to struggle for six years maybe it is going to shorten the learning curve but i've said this in the beginning also but you have to work on it and you'll have to trust the process and you have to continuously try it try and try and in few months you're going to start seeing the result special thanks to skillshare for sponsoring this video i'll leave the link down in the description box and as a top pin comment as well i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye